This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events and unlockables. A word of advice, click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting, so don't be afraid and go wild. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left, in order to resettle in peace. Away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed, because on our backs the past was built. And from our hands, the future will be wrought. Ah, you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. First, connect this outpost to the wood mill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. This stone quarry works similarly to your woodmill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. This is your wood mill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the woodmill, but this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the woodmill. Good work. The wood mill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we also built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone.
stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. This tower needs to be connected to your stone quarry and be in its range before it can be upgraded. There is no stone available for this upgrade. This tower needs to be connected to your stone quarry and be in its range before it can be upgraded. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden... There is no stone available for this upgrade. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. This tower needs to be connected to your stone quarry and be in its range before it can be upgraded. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. There is no stone available for this upgrade. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a... This tower needs to be connected to your stone quarry and be in its range before it can be upgraded. There is no stone available for this upgrade. This tower needs to be connected to your stone quarry and be in its range before it can be upgraded. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower, this resource extractor is missing access to workers. This stone quarry works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. This tower needs to be connected to your stone quarry and be in its range before it can be upgraded. There is no stone available for this upgrade. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone.
You cannot build on top of the sea tree fungi. These are needed to produce wood. Select your outpost, so we can start expanding it further. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Outposts can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. We have reached a milestone in population, aligning with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The freehouse folk are numerous and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Ursi. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. You have no available resource extractors. We now have iron, but it's not making its way to our settlement. Build a pair of harbors with your surveyor to transport iron across the sea. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Several captains are now available. Each captain hauls specific resources. For this trade route, iron is required, but wood is also recommended to expand the mine later. I will carry stone and workers only, nothing else. I will only carry iron and workers for our industries. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. 
Select your outpost, so we can start expanding it further. We can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warboat commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Rest assured, friend, my words are the strongest and fastest. My statement mixes Sarkota and Northern Grey Dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. 
Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. We have reports of something strange ahead. You cannot build a harbor this close to another harbor. There is word amongst free house traders that you offer respite for weary captains. Will you have me and my ship? Yes, there is word among- You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. The ironite transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. I'll transport anything you wish me to. Things are improving. This route is profitable. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these big times? Well, look no further. Master Fabricator of Boilers and Heated Houses, at your service. Had some minor mishaps at my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II Heated Houses. Pay attention to the political influence of your settlement. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. This is too close to something else.
Before... You have no available resource extractors. There is no iron available for this upgrade. You've reached the limit of this demo. You can demolish some of your creation to keep building or start something new. The free build mode comes with a selection of cool locations to try out. Thanks for trying out the demo. You've reached the limit of this demo. 